Welcome to our lecture online. In order to prepare us to solve differential equations where the function g of t is actually a sum of functions, like here, c g1 plus g2 on the right side of the equation, we're going to employ something called the general principle of superposition. So let's say we have two separate differential equations. The left side is identical. The left side here, notice that these two differential equations have an identical left side, but the right side is different. They have different functions on the right side. If we now assume that y1 is the solution to this differential equation, of course, realizing that y1 will include both the homogeneous part and the non-homogeneous part of the solution, and if y2 is a solution of the second differential equation, again, this would include the homogeneous part and the particular part of the solution, then we can say that for any two constants, c1 and c2, that y is the solution, c1 times y1 plus c2 times y2, of the equation down here. In other words, if y1 is a solution to this equation, and y2 is a solution to this equation, then the sum of those two solutions, and then each of the two solutions multiplied by a given constant c1 and c2, that that is the solution to this differential equation where the two functions right here are added on the right side of the equation and multiplied times c1 and c2. So there's definitely a connection between the constants as well. But this is really important. Because what that tells us is that if we end up with a differential equation that has a sum of functions on the right side, we can actually separate that into two separate equations. One that has the first part of the function on the right side, and the other one that has the second part of the function on the right side. And then we can solve these two equations independently, just like we did on the examples in the previous videos, depending of course what kind of functions these are if those are exponential functions or trig functions or polynomials, we can find the individual solutions, just like we did. We have a y1 and a y2. And then to find the total solution of an equation like this, we simply add the two solutions together, y1 plus y2, of course, including the constant coefficients in front. That is a very handy technique, and we call that the general principle of superposition. In the following videos, we'll show you some examples of how we can utilize that, and that's how it's done.